Hi, Simone was just in. I don't know what just happened. She was, uh, someone was just in and she left. Okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody interrupted me with my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But see, look. Okay. <laughs> I got my, my white Bordeaux. Okay, but I also have tea, hot stuff. <laughs> I literally just finished my hair. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't have time for tea. And I have some, but I have leftovers, leftover appetizers. Oh, from Thanksgiving. From Thanksgiving. Some like cheese and... Um, what is it? Olives and figs, dried figs. Nice. I think I'm the only person who didn't celebrate Thanksgiving. You didn't go anywhere <laughs> to eat? Nobody fed you? Well, I got fed, but I didn't go anywhere to eat. I was like, I don't like this holiday. <laughs> well, you know. I know. It's not the yeah, best no, holiday just... in the scheme of things, but... Um, I like to eat, so I celebrate uh, pretty much all holidays, give or take. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, lots to be thankful for. Oh, yeah. That I, that I did like, but I didn't, um, the rest I didn't do. It's okay. My um, boss also, uh, like was I like, kept insisting like come on over come on over and I'm like mm, I'll pass <laughs> should have went, went over no ate some pie no I ate pie the whole bit I ate I, <laughs> I ate pie I just didn't um I didn't um I didn't go anywhere okay. I ordered like food yeah well I cooked pies my mom cooked a meal which was very good. Nice. And, and we had a couple of people over for dinner. And How did that? we had fun. Yeah, we had fun. My, I'm, I'm getting ready for Christmas. That, that's my holiday. <laughs> well, I did have a tree. Uh huh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I got a tree. And I didn't decorate it yet, but my mom helped me uh, get everything up. So that was good. Yeah, I did um I did the decorating. Like I was literally like waiting for the end of um Thanksgiving to mm -hmm. do um to start Christmas Carol, like literally the morning I woke up afterwards, I started playing like Mariah Carey's um, Christmas. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I was just waiting for this one to be done so I could get the real holiday. <laughs> well, I cleaned I, like, cause I, I, I've been cleaning for the past two weeks, mm -hmm. but I, so after, I guess today I got up, I blew up, you know, the exercise balls. Uh -huh, the big, the big one I or bought, the, the medium sized one. I bought a medium sized one. I blew it up today with the pump and I stretched along with um, my yoga blocks on my yoga mat. I nice. haven't done that in, in months. <laughs> and then I went and rode my bicycle for a few miles. I oh, was nice. like, yay me, because I hadn't, hadn't ridden in a while. Nice. Yeah, so I signed up for the, the um, kinetic yoga thing that Medgar had. How, how was that? To be that? completely honest, the first, I did the first like three classes, but then um, it's like Saturday at one o'clock. It's like that's prime it's time for time. sleep. <laughs> it's not sleep <laughs> right? time, but time. It's, it's still vegetation time. You're still vegetating. Mm hmm So I've missed a couple of them, but... Um, the first, the first couple that I did were good. They were actually mm -hmm. very good. 
she she does a good job of um explaining the poses and where they came from and why you need them and right she did a good job i couldn't tell you but i did a good job she did a good job hi karen hi kamita where's the hello hola. Hola. hola we can see you Oh, I, I was supposed to be showing, so I need to um, go fix my hair. That's what you're saying? <laughs> well, I almost didn't finish my... You don't have to fix your hair. You're amongst friends and family. Mm -hmm. But I did do my hair because I said, well, why not? Okay. I'm going to do, do, do it for Sharifa. I'm going to do my hair for Sharifa. And you, you, you <laughs> did a drop, so I mean, I need to go get fixed or something. And Kimmy, what look, see? I'm wearing a wig. We, we can't uh, take the same. Yeah. <laughs> if we can't you see, know we can't see with your zipping. Mm -hmm. You got tea and, and I got I have to have some wine. It's been a long day. I just I soaked my locks oh, nice. for about a half, just over a half hour or so. My mom came and rubbed my scalp for me. I made a big mess with water all over the place. I soak my locks in vinegar and oh. I mix it with water, vinegar, and some, what's it, baking soda? Baking soda. What is that for? To help deep clean the locks. You know, oh. vinegar and baking soda is a nice um, all purpose cleaner. Yeah, you right. can even use it to, to declog um, sinks, pipes, and things like that. Sometimes that will help. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, my gosh. Am I old? Yes. No, I just didn't know that. <laughs> no, I just didn't. No, you're not old. I just didn't know that. <laughs> Listen, so. quick fix. A quick fix. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. See? And that hat is fly. Look at you. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Quick Wrong fix. One. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> So where you drink? Kimmy was telling me yesterday. Kimmy was like, um, Kimmy was the one that was like, you sure you want to drink? <laughs> I advised her to not drink. We would like I was telling her. Ra I was telling Raquel. Look, I was telling Raquel, I got a potty mouth, so the liquor wasn't going to work. <laughs> oh, no, there's, there is no intoxication allowed. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. But we're here to sip and chat. You better be loud like you are in class. <laughs> and I invite Don, you Sharifa. better be speaking up. <laughs> yes, I invited Sharifa to, to have this conversation or lead it because she is, excuse me, the college representative for college council. And if you didn't know, college council is the governing body for Megar Evers College, meaning they, they help with decisions with curriculum and policy, amongst other things. Well, Ms. Sharifa Clark is the person that you would go to with all the things that you're happy about at Medgar and want to see continue, or if there's something that you think Medgar should improve upon or consider doing, you would go to Sharifa because Sharifa has the ear of the college council because she sits on that committee. All right. Dawn, why are you smiling? Dawn, you're muted. Dawn, you're muted. Unmute yourself, Dawn. CIS 211, get rid of that professor. Do that. <laughs> I was just about to say, Raquel, you sure you want to unmute Dawn? <laughs> Well, no, she don't know. Don't get rid of me. Don't get rid of me. She, well, we get rid of him because know. he gave me a midterm. I had a death in the family. He gave me a midterm, Sharifa. He gave me the midterm <laughs> after the fourth. I told him I had my son had to go to the hospital to the doctor. I came back. He's complaining that the midterm wasn't done. My son had a doctor. I had to rush him to the doctor. The man said, "Well, you can't take that midterm anymore. I'm gonna give you another one." What? Well, the same he's, thing. Le I'm in my he's, le he's letting you take the midterm though, right? I took it and I gave him whatever I gave him. He didn't mark it, but I got an 80 and something. See him later, Bob. I'm only worried about his final and I'm not well, worried about him no more. You spoke to him and you got to take the midterm. 
I think that's reasonable. He could go sit down somewhere. I don't even understand nothing he's saying. <laughs> What's his name? Was that the one that you were saying? Um, um, Linko, yeah. li, 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 something. I texted. Oh, yeah. man, that man is. We're not, awesome. not going to name names. No, we're not going to name names. This is being recorded. <laughs> we're not going to name names. This well, is being recorded. <laughs> we'll say. Um, we I'm really sorry to hear about to your loss. <laughs> but you did the right thing. You were able mm -hmm. to get your exam, have your take your exam, which is a good thing. The fact that the professor made a new exam for you, that's kind of phenomenal because most professors wouldn't do that. Right. But you got to take the midterm because I know professors who would have just said no. If you were in my class, I would have had to at least see the doctor's note and the, right. and the obituary. I gave you everything. I was gonna, Don't worry about I was gonna it. say I that. It I was gonna uh, say that too. That was my next thing. I was gonna say yeah, it. Um, so so you're good. I mean, and you don't have to like all professors. All my whenever I have taught a class, which isn't often, everyone doesn't like me, and that's okay. Well, it's okay. Well, I think there's a difference between not liking the professor and not um, having a good professor because a lot of times, in my opinion. I've seen people say, oh, this professor, I'll bring up another professor, my favorite professor at Medgar, <laughs> my math professor. She was strict. Like, I mean, she was not, you could not. I there was my like, head on. Ain't to have my head on. Got me Man, looking like a mute your mic. See? See what I'm I saying? don't have my glasses on. I can't see. <laughs> me neither. My glasses is in the car. <laughs> they in you another saying? room. You sure you want her unmuted? <laughs> <laughs> so um so um um what was I saying again? Um yeah, my favorite professor at Medgar, it's like, all right, she was strict, but she was fair and mm. she did her thing. If you had asked, you know, pick a random student out of 10, they would have been like, oh my god, I don't like her, she's so strict. But when mm -hmm. I got to her class, I understood what her method, it wasn't that she was strict. She was not allowing you to, she wanted you to be accountable. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That I appreciate. Right. I don't mind that. But the issue Don has with her professor is different. It's not a, he don't I don't speak, like him. He don't, speak, he don't speak English. I don't like him. He don't speak English. You could barely understand what he's saying. And then, did you tell him? him? I tell him, look, I don't want to hurt the man's feelings. And then you know, <laughs> No, this I don't. This is not about you know. It's, it's it's not disrespectful to say to someone, "I'm not understanding." Raquel, can I tell you something? Yeah, go ahead. If you look under this, the certain professor on rate my professor, you will see where it says if I'm if I remember correctly, the professor she's referring to, a, a student wrote, he doesn't speak English well. And gets offended when you say I don't understand you. So it's like, right. at what point do you then? All right, who's gonna step in? Because literally, on Ray Mike, because we have to, Kimmy and I and Karen, I believe, have to take two eleven in um uh I don't know when we take it, but next, and we did our research and checked out professors, mm -hmm. and the options are not good. <laughs> it don't look good. It's like this guy who don't right. speak English and gets offended and the other guy who's like, uh-uh. You know what I mean? He'll so sign like, off on you. He signed off well, on us one day. <laughs> well, he, he, any, any, this is really any professor and it's whether it's a language barrier or a teaching issue. If the professor does not know that you are not understanding, then it's a, it's, it's, it behooves you to say so, whether or not the professor gets upset or not. Now, and it's a conversation that you want to have, say, in a formal meeting, you want to say to the professor, let's meet because I'm not understanding. Now, there have been people that I've worked with, even at Medgar, who I found very difficult to understand what they were saying to me because their accent was very thick. And I'll be honest with you, because I did not um, work with this person all the time, I didn't bother to try to tell him that I didn't understand him. 
but we were on a committee together and now we are all working together and I see other people in the room could understand him, but I couldn't. So what I had to do was be patient with myself and say, excuse me, can you please repeat that? And I did it often enough until I could understand what he was saying. But it's not unusual for people to say to me, do, do you know what he said? And I'll chuckle and I say, look, I get it. It's not even it. a matter of what he's saying. It's a matter of understanding. You got to understand this class is breaking my head to the point that I pray to God and say, you got you, you to see okay. the other it is thing what with it that, is. Dawn, the other because thing is it's that not, it's not hands on. So if a, if a student is having an issue, I need to physically be in your face. And right now I can't be in your face. So I need you to take your time. And Don, Don, you need to find. So I think for that you need tutoring. Honestly, like it's, it's he can like we are. Oh, stuck the class on session almost over. We in December now, sis. You, okay, so you need to jump on it quick. <laughs> we, I'm we, jumping yes. on getting my work done quick. As long as my work is done, yeah, yeah. Follow the syllabus. Get your work done. But also always remember that you're paying tuition. This is oh, not. That be my name, Raquel. This is not Most, free. So when right, you don't understand, you you have to say something. And um, oh, I'm going to call my advisor, but I keep on bypassing because I have a student too that I'm I'm teaching and I'm assisting. So between him and the other him, <laughs> look when someone tell when a student has told me in the past, Miss Bennett, I don't understand you. I got to suck it up. You know, I, I got or or Miss Bennett, this is too much work. I gotta suck it up. Now I may not ease I ease up on some of the work, but <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I, think I teach history. Y'all gonna read books, but I gotta suck it up and I have to adjust if I want my students to learn. And if right. he's not able to do that, then you follow the chain of command to get the assistance that you need and the understanding that you need through tutoring, okay. through, That's what I was just gonna say. through the chairperson possibly having to intervene and assist you, but you get what you- But where were y'all, where were y'all? Where were y'all in the beginning? So I could got the hell out of class. All right, so look. Is so this so here right now, I'm at the end. <laughs> you didn't end. call me, Dawn, you didn't call me. But now y'all just chiming me into this sipping, <laughs> sipping chat stuff, and now they're sipped and I done chatted. Now I'm tight, cause I could have been out of this class. Sharifa, tell her, Listen. we tried, we tried. Y'all didn't, you didn't call me, Dawn. See, you didn't call Dawn, me. Let me, let me, let me take this one. Dawn, listen, I know for a fact that the school of business, your school of business, right? Dawn, I just no, want to make public sure. A, public administration. Yeah, that's school of same business. Thing. Same oh, okay. Thing. Same thing. Well, y'all know. Same thing. <laughs> I'm I in the know dean's office. Right. Yes, I'm Raquel Bennett. I work in the dean's office. So whenever you talk to me or Roxanne Foster, you, um, you're working with within the dean's office, and your dean is is Dr. Uh, Dr. Joanne mm -hmm. Roll. We all, anyone can tell you, we take calls from our students. All day, oh, every sure. day. Dawn. We respond yeah. to our email. We respond to your email. Sharifa, okay. Sharifa, I ain't even know. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Yes, Dawn. yes Sharifa, darling. Sharifa. She, Sharifa didn't I tell know, you that. I know for a fact the School of Business sends out emails. Like, every, I remember the first one I, I received from uh, the School of Business in January saying, the dean wants to meet you. She literally said, come in. That was before pre-COVID. She I said, remember. come in and have a conversation with me. I oh, don't understand. Oh, what, <laughs> like, listen, yeah, they they outreach. I can say that I know for a fact. Uh, I think Carolyn is uh, online, and that's the school of science. I don't want to lie, yeah, but I Carolyn think my Carolyn. Online. Yeah, I think um yes, it is, guys. I'm at work, but I'm listening. But your yeah, school of really science, right, Carolyn? Yes, she said yes. Yes, I'm going to be a RN. Right. Have they reached out to you with any kind of, hey, come sit down with the dean? I know you're at work, so just real quick. Nope, I've never had that privilege. See what I'm saying? Don, you have a school of, you have a department behind you that's saying, hey, we're right here, use us. They've been saying that since January. I know that for a fact. 
You guys don't respond to emails. You can't well, throw I'm, the blame. I'm going to me. look. I'm going to look and make sure. I got your yeah. Yeah. The emails, <laughs> you ain't are, see. The emails tend to be so overwhelming that sometimes I haven't even gotten a chance to Listen, read. I get emails from that girl. Trust me, I I'm telling you. I, I can attest to that myself. No, I, I can attest to that. So I'm kind of like, yes, Sharifa, I believe you. I, you I get know emails I from DOE. I get emails from <laughs> all over FDNY. I have the every email is attached to you. Email. Important, huh? You input you trying to tell me you important. Oh, are, you a, important. are you a part of our chat group? No. He? That's Sharifa's fault. Blame Sharifa. Wait. She didn't tell you. <laughs> Wait, you send it to everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi. Nikasia. How are you? I'm okay. How are is you? Is it Nikasia or Nikasia? It's Nikasia. Nikasia. I was working on the sound. I could hear y'all, but I couldn't. I can see y'all, but I couldn't hear. But so, you're a school of science. You now. School of science? I'm sorry? Nikasia, you're school of science, right? No, nursing. Right, yeah. Nursing, that's school of science. Yeah. Uh -huh. Welcome, Nikasia. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, Hi, uh, guys. So I wanted to jump in a bit. Um, I'm Kamisha. I'm at work, but I can talk a little bit. So Why one of the you things working that, on Saturday. I know. Oh right? my, listen, we gotta make that money, right? <laughs> That's all right. Make that money. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I wanna say to Miss Dawn is that at the beginning of semester, I, for some reason I wasn't getting any emails from my business department. And I reached out to Miss Raquel and immediately she responded. And she started sending me, you know, sometimes with technology, things do happen, right? But you have to be on top of things to exactly. really see what's going on, you know? So I reached out and she connected me with the, the, the group chat and she started sending me emails back again. So that is one of the things that um, you have to be on the lookout and say, hey, wait a minute, I haven't been getting any uh, emails from my department. What's going on? And reach out to you know to them and say, hey, I'm not getting. I don't email. look for for the emails from them. I look for for <laughs> where I can get the help from. So if it's my advisor, and if my advisor direct me to them, then I'm gonna go to them. If the department gonna direct me to them, I'm gonna go to them. Only thing I'm saying is I don't understand the Russian language and the the the, the fast talking and the, the hands on. I don't have that. I no, will use my listen. channel for the next semester. I can guarantee all of y'all that because I'm not going to be, <laughs> this is my bachelor. This is it. I don't want to, my GPA is nice and I don't want no messy GPA with this man, period. So right now I'm just by any means necessary. I'm getting my work done. Give me my grade, even if it's a C. I'm, how the grade is system going, y'all? Uh, I hate, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that C thing. But yeah, I don't, I don't do those Listen, letters. Listen, I'll yeah. take the C to get the hell out don't of here. Do don't do those letters. Don't do those letters. They ain't giving me no letters if I could Not doing no letter. letters. <laughs> Listen, well, I've been A's and B's. Sometimes you got to pass. It's just pass. And get That's, the hell that out. That could be the goal, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like that. You know, you shoot for the better grade, but sometimes think it, Meg it might be a C. Class before I take a C. <laughs> I'm not taking a Meg C. Not the only school I'm chuckling. I'm in Kingsborough doing another class because I had to owe them a class. Mind mm -hmm. you, I paid out of pocket for that. So I'm, 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 and she got another quiz coming up on the first. This lady. Well, I, put the, I put the group me chat link for you to join in the chat box. So if you're interested. Um, you can you join know, it down immediately. Don, <laughs> I, I do post, um, I post information there for for school of business, and sometimes it does cross over into uh, areas that would interest other students as well, such as the career services workshops that we had. Was it a couple of months ago? Something like that, right? Yeah, Sharifa, the, yeah, yep, it was in October from like 19 to the 23rd or 18 to the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Um, which, um, so, I mean, I had like a whole agenda and everything, but I like how we're going, but to rein it in, I wanted to, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll go over the rules. If you're not talking, um, mute your mic. And if you have a question while someone's talking, just put it in the chat and this is a safe space, you know, I mean, it is being recorded. So please, 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 
Uh, no names, <laughs> please. We're not. If you're uncomfortable you're with me recording it, I can no, no. turn it no. off. Okay, just no. check it. I'm okay with it being recorded. I'm just saying, let's not let's not bash anybody. <laughs> let's not call names. <laughs> All right, let's not name names, please. Um, and then I wanted to start with the icebreaker, but then we already did this. So I was gonna ask about um, roses and thorns. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played that game where you a rose is something good that happened to you, a thorn is something that bad that happened to you recently. And I'll start it off. My rose is that the semester is almost over. Thank God, <laughs> I can't wait for it to be done. Um, my thorn is that I, the semester is almost over. Oh my God, here come finals, here come <laughs> research papers. Um, next person, who wants to go next? Unmute yourself. Somebody. My anybody. goal is that the semester is almost over, thank God. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So what's your thorn? My thorn is to get on. I don't know if I want to take a break, if I want to continue. I promise you, this semester really took Don't a take a break. Don't stop. If you stop, you ain't you ain't never coming back. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. But I'm 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 only I'm here, so I'm not gonna break. So my thorn is for the next semester is to go with stride and you know keep on pushing and reaching for the stars so I could come out and be done and then go on to the masters. And reach out to the school of business. Office and reach you, out to Miss Raquel in the School of Business. You sure right? Yes, reach out because because we talk to our students. We'll yep. help you get through. I we'll sure definitely will. help you get through because we don't now want you. To, we don't want you to quit. And and no. tell others the same thing too. Tell others to read my email. I know it's a lot. I know. You said quit. Quit is not in my don't vocabulary. I'm a winner. I'm not a loser. I am going to succeed. Trust that. No matter how hard this rock may be, I will pass any and every stumbling block. Better believe I'm it. Glad, my name I'm is glad Dawn. to hear that. Look, my okay. earrings are even falling out. Amen. They needed to because you had to hear that, sis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next person, Don. Mute your mic. <laughs> All right, Sharifa. <laughs> well, I'll go. I will say, I'll start with my thorn. My thorn. Mm -hmm. um, and again, for those who don't know me, I am in the Dean's office, Raquel Bennett, but my thorn is on Wednesday, I was attacked in front of my door on my, oh my. On my porch by um, the son of my former tenant, oh, wow. who I had to evict. I was not hurt. Um, but he did shove me up against my front door and I kind of hurt my hand and my shoulder from where he shoved me. He was looking for some mail that is not going to come to my house because they don't live here. And the postman doesn't drop any of the mail that comes to the family at the house any longer, if it were to come to my house. So that is my thorn. I was definitely traumatized. Oh my God. Did a lot of crying that day. Um, went to bed at nine o'clock and Sharifa knows I am up all hours oh of the day God. and night so because somebody <laughs> likes to, <laughs> like to text me like I'm still awake at one o'clock in the morning. I don't know why, but I, I mean, I am y'all, I am, but still that's besides the point. So, but my, so that was my thorn, but my rose is that I have a loving family um, and my family is not just my mom, who um, who lives with me? We live together in the same in the same house, but also my extended family, my friends who shared um, with me that day on Wednesday, and then came over and shared with me on um, Thanksgiving. I was still able to do some baking and make four peach pies because I don't know how to control myself. It's just my mother and I. Don't ask me who's going to eat it. Um, I gave one away so far. I got to find someone else, another guinea pig to give some more away. But um, that is my rose. And, and all of you are my roses because I enjoy being um, and spending time with students. Sorry that happened. Oh my God. I, yeah, that's, that's a big thorn. That's a big thorn. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was a big thorn. Yes. All right. All right, who wants to go next? 
Okay, I want to go next. So, my rose is that a few months ago, I was approached by uh, one of my professors to take up a position. Um, I don't know if a lot of persons know that there's a group called Impact Club. It's like a Christian-based club, you know, we do encouraging messages, you know, motivation, especially in this time that we're, we have entered in, in the world. And that was, you know, a pretty, you know, amazing feeling to be a part of a club, to be a leader, you know, and so that was just something for this semester, because <laughs> geez, this semester is crazy. And that, that's the torn. Help! <laughs> Please well, help her. Wait, wait, that's the next topic. Wait, that's the next topic. So stick up in. We're going to your yeah. That's the next topic. <laughs> this semester has been crazy. This is my sixth semester, and it's the craziest I've ever seen and ever felt. I just want to be over with. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all of us. This. <laughs> I think that's all of us. <laughs> all right, next person. Okay, I'm gonna start picking people, okay? <laughs> okay, my rose is, um, thank God I am still here through all the crisis that is going on. I give thanks and um, I am happy for everyone that is here present and join this moment as we speak. That's my rose. My thorn is that I have a few more semesters to go, um, finishing up my associate um, come spring, and then I'm going to just continue straight on with my bachelor's. So, but odd work, they say do pay off. So I'm going strong. Oh, and we already know, Kimmy, me, you, and Karen. We don't know about nobody yeah. else, but <laughs> me, you, and Karen, we getting that degree. <laughs> Amen. 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 Everyone here we is getting that degree. Get that degree. <laughs> Everyone is going to get a degree. No, no, no. I agree with and that. Some I more. agree with that. I, I agree and with more. that. Uh, hi, Brittany. I agree with that. I agree with that. But that's a pack. This is this is no, a, right. we're Karen. just a pack and we kind of, you know, how we do this things. Is my so pack. that's the reason why we're just shouting out each other, you know. So yeah, okay, that's everybody's gonna pack. get that's it. What I mean. That's what I mean. This is my red pack. We we yeah, which is a part of another conversation we're gonna have, but yeah. So um to Brittany who just joined, we're talking about roses and thorns, uh, meaning something good that just happened to you, roses, um, and something bad that just happened to you, thorn. Um, next person, Simone, you better be paying attention. You better be paid. Like, it better not be English class, all right? <laughs> See? <laughs> all right, Karen, I know you're on the road. Can you speak? Mm -mm. All right. We also have someone on a cell phone. Yeah, Yvonne, she actually can't. She, she's like, I don't know how to connect and talk. Not sure what to tell. I think it's like you just unmute. Um, Yvonne, I think you just unmute the phone call. If she's on her phone, first thing, once she's connecting, it tends to ask if you want to dial in or if you want to connect over the internet. And then once you select the option to connect over the internet, you start getting the... Mm -hmm. you right you start hearing well she can hear she can't speak but i think if you do the phone thing when it asks you about the audio if you muted you just have to click on the unmute button well I, i'm assuming if you have an iphone i don't know about galaxies all right <laughs> nothing so i think i don't know if that's working oh yep it worked talk you're unmuted yvonne talk think all right let me try this all right uh while we wait uh how about carolyn can you hear me yes i'm hearing you all right just talk through the phone what's your rose oh my rose is that i made it through Second semester, I didn't know I could go to college, so my role is that I made a semester, second semester, almost finishing up. Can you guys hear? Can the rest of you guys hear? Okay. Yeah, right. that's yes, wonderful. 
keep my going. Thought is, my thought is, I was doing my exam. I got a, a, a phone call. I had to go a biopsy. And everything leave my brain. I couldn't finish the exam, so I don't know what's going to happen. Right. Um, yes. What should she do, Sharifa? Thank you, baby. Oh, I know. She, she, first of all, if I ain't got no problem, <laughs> she's referring, I mean, no, no, that's not what I, not, no, not like that. <laughs> that's not what I meant. What I meant to say is Yvonne knows she's good with uh, Professor Evelyn. We're in, um, we share, um, we're in the accounting class together and Professor Evelyn, first of all, is an uh, amazing professor. That's number one. But number two, she's very, um, Yvonne, you can attest to this. She's, because she knows the situation, it's a health. I don't want to go. Can I? I can't go into too deep. Okay, so she's a cancer survivor who his has to do another biopsy. Um, she she's already. She said I can say. It. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, she like she said she just found out she has to do another biopsy because she had an issue with the drainage in something because she just had a surgery, and so I without question i know professor evelyn is going to give her another opportunity like she just needs to email her and that's it uh one because the situation was already known to her this is not you know this has been going on for i think like the two semesters right yeah for, for five years now. yeah well the situation for five years but since she started class, um school oh, and so yeah. i know professor evelyn knows that so she'll get another opportunity to do it so that is not an issue What's more important is that she focuses on getting better, honestly. Like, yes, school is great, but if you're not alive, you can't pass it anyway. So you just need to focus on getting, you know, better. Don, you're unmuted. Why? What you got to say? <laughs> That's right, Yvonne, because she in my class, my computer science class. I That's what she said. Her she said. She just said that. Yeah, she just said that. Um, so Yvonne is, just needs to get better. Um, she will do the accounts test again. And she will pass because I will tell you, of all of us in that class, Yvonne is the only one that takes like intense notes. <laughs> like she takes Immaculate. step one. She, like, I mean, this lady saved our lives in a couple classes, <laughs> a couple um, quizzes. She saved our lives. Like she sent the pictures of her notes. I mean, I thought I took good notes, but this lady. <laughs> She's like, step one, you add that. Then step two, you do that. <laughs> so she will pass. So that's not an issue. But yeah. You always you need students online, like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll just, yeah, I got unlimited. Mm -hmm. There's been um, plenty right. of students I had over the years that helped me get through college. Because we don't get through this by ourselves. And that, I did. A, again, that's the. Uh, sorry. And I made you. I'm able to say I majored in history, but almost nobody I knew was majoring in that. <clears throat> so I had all my friends and some of my student friends as well read all my papers and help me with all my research. That's like that's like Brittany right there. Brittany, we miss you in English. <laughs> um, all right, next person. I, know. <laughs> I mean, he's great. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> Hi. Oh, if I mute her, she can't hear. What's up? Oh, look at her hi, fancy hi. picture. Uh, I was going to say, um, remember in Biko's class last semester, you were like reading other people's um, uh, papers for them <laughs> and suggesting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So yeah. Oh, Carolyn can't. Okay, she can't participate. And then Raquel says, okay. All right. So Brittany, your rose and thorn. Um, my rose is just that, you know, like given the, the climate of today, just that I'm healthy, my family's healthy. And, you know, we were able to spend Thanksgiving together safely. Mm -hmm. um, and then my thorn <clears throat> is that because of COVID, I am unemployed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 What kind of work are you looking for, like Brittany? Say that again? What kind of work are you looking for? So it's actually, I guess that could also kind of be a rose because I worked in a hair salon for the past uh, eight years and I still love doing hair, but going back to school, I want to revamp and just add to my career. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take this time to shift. So I'm mm -hmm. looking for, you know, I like history as well. Um, 
Really? And, yeah. You weirdo. I'm joking. <laughs> the picture is actually in London because I love I love London. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So Us history I'm- lovers <laughs> like to be right. That's why we like history. <laughs> Yes, Brittany, then. have you looked into? I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what how it's gonna work um, uh, right now because of quarantine. But have you looked into the study abroad program? I have. Um, they're taking it uh, like day by not day by day, but kind of like day by day. So mm-hmm. I think they intend to do study abroad, but it just depends on what the travel restrictions are when we hit the spring. Well, okay. Brittany, you, you missed some of the deadlines, I think, for some of the scholarships, like Gilman and the um, the one that there's for language. But if you email me, I will send you the scholarship information for them. Um, oh. they, yep. they are still, they're still traveling. You can still study abroad as long as the country... <clears throat> is not classified as a three or four. I think you can only go to class one, maybe two, because there's, because there's, in terms of danger, the CDC has four classifications. And a lot of places are threes and fours that you can't go to, and that might include London. But um, studying abroad in general, um, you want to look at some of these scholarships like the Benjamin Gilman Scholarship and the Critical Language Scholarship. They give money sometimes up to $5,000 to study abroad. And we know you're going to get that because you're good on English for sure. sure. I know that. I know that. Right. And some of them could be for credit and some could just be for uh, community development or something like that. So um, just shoot me an email later and I'll send you that information because I read sometimes for both of them, the applications. Oh, awesome. All right. Okay. And also in terms of jobs, um, you know, pay attention to career services because they put out a lot of information and also send me your resume. There might be something I can um, do a referral for you. Oh my God, awesome. So much. Changing lives. Look at this. <laughs> and, my, and, my, and my sister from another mother told me to tell you that Mount Vernon School District is hiring. Right, okay. teachers' okay. aides and things like that. That's you. Do you know where Mount Vernon is at? Near West. You, it's in West. You Brooklyn people. It's in West Chester. Far, are you sitting I... on South Hilton <laughs> in Mount Vernon? Yes, Mount Vernon. It's up here, Mount Vernon. Money earning Mount Vernon. Yes. Wait, sound far, but I. <laughs> you Dude, was I not coming to Brooklyn for almost eighteen years every day to work with y'all? It is not far. Far, but that's sorry. Right, in the Bronx. That's right. Right. Water in the Bronx. <laughs> All right. I don't go to the Bronx, but okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't go to the it's Bronx. It's a lot of crazy. In the words oh. of Charlemagne the God. The craziest people come from the Bronx and all of Florida. Not the but boogie Brittany, down. Send- the boogie down is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send your email, uh, Brittany. Is it R. Right. Bennett at Mech.cuny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Found right. it. <laughs> now, uh, D. Rose, your roses and thorns, because Carolyn can't respond. Simo- Simone is probably asleep. Dean Rose. Hello? <laughs> Who said hello? Oh, Dean. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Yeah, yes. Hi. Hi, Dean. Hi. Hi, hi. I've, I've, I've just been listening. I've, I'm also doing some research work, but I've been enjoying the conversation. A wonderful sip and chat you guys have been having. Good job. Good job. Nero is so wonderful, guys. You have no idea. Yep. I keep telling them. But Dean, what are your roses and thorns this week? Oh, well, my rose is that I'm, I spend the Thanksgiving holiday with my daughter and my granddaughter, uh, and that truly was a rose. Uh, the thorn is, uh, you know, I, I still had a lot of work to do, so even uh, even while I was uh, visiting them in the Washington, D.C. area, I still had some, some, some work that I'm doing. But, you know, I enjoy my work, so it's just mm-hmm. that, uh, you know, balance is important, and... Uh, I tried to, uh, 
I try to find some balance, but uh, spending time with family is just wonderful. It is. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. my rose and thorn. Thank you, Dean. I think Roxanne and, and I like working with Dr. Rowe because we're all three of us workaholics. And we just, <laughs> true, we just true, enjoy true. it. <laughs> just enjoy it. <laughs> So we find we find some relaxation in working as well. So even though this is a Saturday, I truly did get up and said, you know what? I'm gonna do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get ready. I actually look, I'm gonna actually... do, do my hair and I'm gonna put some makeup on. I took it a step further, Raquel. I put cologne on, even though I'm not going anywhere. Oh, no, I had to worn cologne and soap perfume for so long. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, gonna do <laughs> I'm like, I'm actually going to spray this expensive perfume on today. I'm not going nowhere, but hey, it's I mood, did buy right? more shoes. I bought more sandals in anticipation for the summer. I almost bought a pair of boots. Uh, Sorrel. Is it Sorrel? Um, Sorrel boots. Because they were shiny and silver. Even though there is no place to go. With those boots. We will be outside soon. God willing. Please, Lord. But they didn't have my size, so they saved me. (laughs) I was saved. (laughs) The Lord, the Lord protecting you. (laughs) Yes, yes. All right. So so the next segment was supposed to be online learning, but we already heard from Dawn and um, uh, a few, I think someone else was complaining. I don't remember. Well, a movie was done about online learning so far. Um, I personally think it's been so far, third semester, my most challenging semester. I thought I was tech savvy, but this is a whole other level of tech savvy, right? This is like, I'm trying to learn the subject, but I'm also trying to maneuver the technology and I'm also trying to learn the subject. <laughs> And I'm also trying to stay sane. Uh, I don't know if anyone else feels me on that one. Um, I got to say it one more time. I know. If, if you know me, you know what my biggest complaint is. It's Cengage. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that platform. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'll never like that platform. But I guess it's here to stay. I know Rekha is going to say we could change it. But no, I don't, I've never used Cengage. What's wrong with Cengage? I mean, what's right with Cengage? But um, <laughs> I right. my biggest right problem with Cengage, exactly. My biggest problem with Cengage, I think, is that you don't get to see your test results. I cannot say this enough. If I don't know what I did wrong, I can't fix it. <laughs> I cannot fix it. And if you give me a test on Cengage and you give me a grade, and I'm like, for example, this past accounting uh, quiz that we had, I thought I was killing it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a ninety. I come on, I got a 73 and I'm like, what? What did I do wrong? But I cannot access it. And I understand, I spoke to the professor. Again, Professor Evelyn is an amazing professor. She's very, she's very open to anything that you have, problems, mm-hmm. criticism, suggestions. She's you know amazing. But she's like, I can't give you your test results if others haven't done the test because then I don't want you to cheat by giving them. I'm not gonna do that, but I get her point. But like, but I cannot learn if I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> I can't learn if I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, I know, Raquel, the test closes at a certain time, yes. But there are always, for example, Yvonne, who just found out about her biopsy, she's going to have to do it again. You know, there's always something that some, there's always someone that gets to do it at a later date, in other words. So she's like, I can't really give it to you right now. But if it was in a classroom... Feel like in a classroom. Okay. I don't know how I would handle this per se. Um, because I I personally don't worry so much about people that cheat when I'm teaching because I can tell by their writing if they cheat. But that's in a physical classroom, right? Huh? That's in a physical, like an actual classroom. No, I can read. I read your writing. If you, if if I'm reading your writing all the time, and I get something that is lovely, and I had a class where about two thirds of the 
plagiarized their midterm and I gave every last one of them a zero. Everyone gets a zero. I let them rewrite it only because the person whose who's, uh, exam I graded first, I told her that she could rewrite it before I started reading the others. So I had to let everybody rewrite it. But if it wasn't for that, everyone would have just had a zero and they would not have had a make make makeup. Because if you plagiarize in my class, you just get an F for the assignment. I don't lose sleep over it. We don't talk about it. You don't plagiarize, you do it again, you get an F, you, you know, you got to figure it out. But um, I think you have a right to ask for um, at least, if she doesn't want, if the professor doesn't want to give you the exam back, give you um, samples or sections within your materials that you need to study more or review again. Ask right, for that. right. So I asked for that because, again, my favorite professor in all the world, Mrs. McDonald, she would do that. She would do an evaluation after every quiz. She would say, "Question number twenty, everyone got wrong. Clearly, you guys don't know how to do twenty. Let's go over whatever topic that was that affected twenty. Right. Not every professor does that, and it's like, all right, but. I don't want to talk about other people's grade, but I did good. Other people did not do so good. Did mm -hmm. well, did not do so well. But there is no revision of the quiz is my problem. If I don't even get my quiz back, fine. Can we do a revision so I can see where I went wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, and then in that same vein, the fact that CUNY runs out of space online is blows my mind. Who she has been space? recording videos. CUNY runs out of well, Medga. So she's been recording these videos. So she does live lectures out of the goodness of her own heart because it's all asynchronous. But right. she has to record them. She, well, she doesn't have to. She records them and then puts them up on Blackboard. Mm -hmm. Three weeks into the semester, she ran out of space. <laughs> she couldn't post any more videos on our class. Kimmy's class could get it, but our class couldn't get it. And right. so it's been like a battle of trying to figure out how to get these videos that she's recorded to us. How YouTube. do you run out of space? YouTube, everything yes, has then, limits. And that's fine. But the thing is with YouTube, the problem she's facing now is she's, she, as she explained it, she's using Cengage's material to put on YouTube. So there might be some legal issues there. So she's like, I'm not sure what I can do, what I can't do. I'm posting their work on my channel. Well, if you so it's like, if YouTube says it's a problem, then they'll take it down. Well, it wouldn't be YouTube. It would be Cengage. will be like, hey, you're using our stuff without our permission. It's not you. YouTube's not going to stop her. No, <laughs> it's YouTube Cengage is going to be like, hey. well, she can just ask Cengage or ask someone who manages Cengage. Yeah, because there is a, there is a uh, customer service support, which she's used yeah. because they were down also. But it's I mean, just like, I, I, it's- I think the semester is almost over, but you know, the path of least resistance would just be to just record um, on whatever device you have and upload it to YouTube. YouTube, she did do that for the last two. She did do that. Okay, Simone, then answer when I speak to you. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Ma'am. <laughs> so um, anyway. Okay. So, whoa, what just happened? Um, so yeah, but um, that's my experience. Anybody else want to talk about online learning uh, problems or phrases, I guess? Yeah, what's good, what's good about online learning? Yeah. Well, for me personally, whereas online um, learning is concerned, um, I've been coping, I've been able to handle it. However, you have time because it's asynchronous. You have times when the professors, they just post work. You have no contact really. So if there's an issue that you're having and you're not able to understand something, then it simply means that you're on your own. You might send an email, you don't get a response. You might get a response on the day of class or something to that effect. <laughs> Just call him. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's not just him. You understand? I mean, he's one of the bigger um, issues. But to be honest, 
most of the teachers, because it's asynchronous, and as Sharifa said for um, Professor Evelyn, out of the goodness of her heart, you know, she comes on and she teaches us, but she doesn't have to do because her class is asynchronous. We have to learn it on our own. But not every professor offer you that, you know, the, that sense of, because at the end of the day, if I fail, it means that you fail. Not because you might have your you. doctorate or Thank your PhD. You. <laughs> My failure is tagged on to you. You know, how many yes. students did you have this semester? <clears throat> oh, I had 40. How many passed? Oh, 10. Then that's a failure upon you. You understand right. me? Because you did not show that interest. You understand me? Not, right. I understand that you do have students that comes into the classroom and, you know, waste everybody's time. You understand right. me? But for the ones that want to learn, give us some of that. You know, show off some of that little interest. I'm mm -hmm. there because I want to be there. I spend my money. The ones who don't care to be there, then you don't worry about them. Thank you understand you. me? Try to help me. I am there. I am calling out for help. Don't just, you know, mm -hmm. shun me off or don't even answer an email until whenever it is that you feel a mind to. By the mm -hmm. time you answer, then I'm over that. I am into something right. else. Well, let me let me start with saying asynchronous does not mean um, you have to teach yourself. That asynchronous is, is a style of teaching online. That's that's one thing. Um, there are best practices to teaching online. Um, and some of that was discussed at a workshop that we did, the School of Business did um, a few weeks ago. And I can always share that with you to give you a sense of what professors should be doing or, or can possibly do and what students should be doing as well. In addition, I will say that this, all of this is still a new experience for all of us, not, not just the students, but for many faculty as well. And there was a learning curve that is going on for them when it comes to teaching online. And there are going to be times, not so much times, but they, good teachers need you to tell them that they are doing a good job or a bad job. And you need to give them recommendations because they may really not know if you don't Amen. say we need that we need that so 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 um you you have to tell them if they're not doing a good job and make recommendations because asynchronous does not mean you post stuff and just leave it there has to be a way to communicate and facilitate learning through um, the, through online mode. And it, and it can look different for different classes, but it's not something where you're by yourself and, and no one is doing anything out of the goodness of their, well, let me not say that. Some uh -oh. people are going the extra mile. Right, okay. And the extra mile, yes, is fabulous, but there are gonna be basic things that all of us should do and you should see some of that some of what you you experience face to face you should see some of that mimicked in a new look but still mimic some way in a virtual setting so if you're not getting it um the semester is almost over it's not too late to ask for it and when the next semester starts make sure that you're getting it from day one and again, because everyone is going through this learning curve, even myself as an administrator being online, there are certain things that I had to learn about being online and working online professionally. One of the things that I learned, for example, was that it's not good to be in meetings and not show your face. I didn't know that. I until mean, I was, until I was, <laughs> no. I mean, this, this isn't so, this isn't necessarily a, a bad thing when I don't see you, but I didn't know that, um, it, didn't, it just didn't occur to me that I should, you know, be present visually for, for meetings. I learned it from someone who is a corporate executive who did a workshop for us for the School of Business during senior week. It was a young person, it was a woman from Price 
Waterhouse Cooper. And she mentioned it and she called us all on it. She said, all we all out there can't see your face. That's not going to go over well in a professional setting because that is how we're going to be networking and getting to know you. You know, we're looking for, everyone is looking for jobs or about to look for jobs. A lot of companies are interviewing virtually. You get, so, you know, it's the importance of being prepared, importance of, you know, what's behind you and what can people see? You know, the, so th this is a this is a nice light audience. So it's fine. You know, it doesn't matter really that much. But to be mindful of that, I did I had to learn that. So in the same way, your your professors and you have to learn how to to function in a teaching and learning environment virtually. Well, I want to also add to that. Um, you know. I don't usually defend professors, but let's let's try. Um, I will say this, not with the situation you're talking about, Kimmy, but in general, most professors, if they're not doing a video or a YouTube or whatever, they do have office hours. Um, and I found that a way to get help when I'm like, all right, I don't get this, is to reach out for office hours. Now, thank you, Lord, I didn't choose any interesting professors this semester. I got all great professors. Um, Professor Evelyn herself, there was, I think I was telling you this, Kimmy, also, uh, with the vertical analysis thing, I was like, I'm just not getting this. <laughs> and I reached out to her. I was like, listen, I'm having an email. I emailed her and I said, I'm having a problem with this. And she said, would you like to meet me in virtual offices, like the virtual office hours? And I said, sure, why not? I went in and she went over it. Again, she's a great professor, but I believe most professors, I could be wrong, Raquel, but I think most, if not all professors have to have virtual office hours, correct? Yes, they and have I think to have, all professors have to have office hours. Therefore, virtual is what it is right. now. Right. So it's like, I feel like that's a great time to be like, I'm reading the book. I'm doing it, I'm gonna use Cengage again because they have this show me how foolishness, but anyway, um, I'm reading the book, I'm doing the show me how, I don't see how they got to this, please. Here it is, explain it to me right now in, in office hours. If your professor is not doing that, then yeah, that's a conversation you need to have with his department head because that's what you're paying for, point blank period, again, that's what you're paying for. <laughs> it's not yes. on you. I want right to right jump in right away because I got to leave. Jump in, um, jump in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I want to just unleash this burden I'm carrying for. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. I had a bunch of issues this semester. One of the issues that at the beginning of the semester, we're having a Zoom meeting, right? So this particular professor is having two different classes. It's teaching two different um, courses. I mean, same, same, um, say for example, so, she's teaching math. It's not math, but I don't, I don't want to single out anybody. Say for example, she's teaching math. Same subject? Huh? She's teaching the same subject, but two different levels. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> she's having everybody on the same Zoom meeting. So there are persons, so I came on like probably three minutes late. So I heard people talking, having conversations. So I'm like, wait a minute, this person say I'm, I'm 136, this person say I'm, I'm 112. I'm like, wait a minute. So I say, professor, I'm this. Say, so, oh, everybody. I mean, like it was confusing because persons were talking on top of each other. There was no, there was just bare confusion. And I'm like, Oh, so the professor is saying, oh, I have this amount of students this semester and da 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 I mean, it, 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 it's crazy. It, so what did you do? Crazy, huh? So what did you do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm there listening because I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, I'm listening to everybody and I'm like, it is, this is not the way it's supposed to be. Right, right? but then what did you do after you said that? <laughs> I don't even remember, honestly. I think I sent her an email because there were just a bunch of confusion. So knowing me, I probably did send her an email. I think I did, you know, privately to say, hey, I'm, 
I'm from this class and stuff like that. I didn't say A though, because I have respect, but I'm just talking <laughs> now. But one of the things that, that um, affected me was professors say we get an assignment and it's due for Monday, right? So before this assignment is expired, professors are sending two and three assignments for another time. So you are confused, you go in, you don't even realize that they have already sent a new assignment in. So you go in thinking that this is the original one that they had first. You mm -hmm. go in and you do this assignment that is for a later date. <clears throat> it happened to me, you know, when I look at my grade, I get 67. So I'm like, I'm puzzled because I'm not a 67 person. So it's like something click into my mind and I say, let me go back and look through these assignments. I realized, and I looked on the assignment that I sent, I realized that I did the one that was for a later date. So I said to the professor, I did this and it wasn't for this. <laughs> so I'm like, what, what am I gonna do? Cause you're like, and this is not just a one professor. I noticed this with other professors like they'll be sending us assignments like just like this. So I'm like, don't we get a, bre a breathing um, space? Like the semester, the, I mean, the subject is not expired. It's not due yet, but yet still you keep, you know, I'm like- Kamisha, you follow the syllabus. I follow I was just the say, Kamisha, syllabus, right Kamisha, Kamisha, I'm gonna give you the same words my, advi my ASAP advisor gave me uh -huh. <laughs> when I complain about something like that. She said, you're not in high school, you're in college. <laughs> Professors can drop an assignment whenever they feel like it. They can drop a due date whenever they feel like it. If it's no, in the they, syllabus that this is what's in the you're syllabus. You're supposed yeah. to be following, huh? No, I'm gonna say- I'm sorry? We can't just send you anything at any time. We have to modify the syllabus and give right. you reasonable notice. If it's in the, right. So what, which is what I'm saying, like, if it's in the syllabus, so if, if you are saying to you like okay, but wait, so so all the crazy wait, 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 that is going on. But did you check the syllabus? Is what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. You, it's your. You're not in high school, meaning it's your responsibility to check your syllabus. But this it's is your not a hold on, Sharika, because I remember we were we are coming from the classroom setting where you know if you get an assignment that is due a particular day you would submit your assignment and then we move on to our next, right? Okay, no, that's fine. And all the fine. crazy what I'm saying. that is happening in the world. You're going to give me three assignments in one time, right? Like one behind each other. But so was like, it on the I, syllabus? Was it on the syllabus? That's what I'm asking. It. Hold on. You're not on. I don't think you're getting it. It's not about the syllabus. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that if you go in, so say we are in week six, right? I don't even realize that she's sending week seven, week eight. So when I go in, I just click on the last one, which I thought is, is supposed to be week six, not realizing that I'm clicking on week eight assignment and doing week eight assignment. You get what I'm saying? It's not about mm -hmm. following the 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 Isn't there a topic? I get, I get what you're topic? saying. I get, I get what you're saying, but what I'm trying to tell you is they can't, they can't deviate from the syllabus, the, the, the setup. So if you're not checking what you're doing, that's on you. If she put it in the syllabus that week six is due at October 10th, and you decide to do week yeah, eight but at you October don't, 10th. They're not following, everybody's not following this, the syllabus, right? Because you know that things change up and- And you can fight that. That's what I'm saying. If they're not following the yeah. syllabus, you can fight that. What I'm saying is- And I've if it's been in the there. Syllabus, yeah, if it's in the syllabus, you don't have, you don't, you trust me, let it go. Kamisha, I had a teacher that was afraid of me. No, yeah. it's going to be in the syllabus or it's going to be a problem. Thank you. But if it's in the syllabus, you don't I have a Because I pay my money. money. I pay exactly. my money. Right, right, right. Kamisha, right. Kamisha, it's, it's, it's the same. I'm not it's an the same online thing learner. With, I like to be up in my right. professor's face. Right, that's like fine, to, but and that's I know fine. that we don't have a control over all. This all right, stuff. that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> right, I know all of that, but I mean, 
we I don't know, but for me, like the professor, I, I understand. I mean, Kamisha, I understand it was a mistake. You saw the email, you responded to it. Um, the professor is sending things because the professor wasn't able to set it all up at the very beginning of the semester. So you're kind of responding to, to the professor's emails. But moving forward, um, I'm just recommending, and I think, and Sharifa as well, if I, if, and let me know if I'm, if I'm incorrect, Sharifa, no, you're is, right. is that work from the syllabus um, first. So check your syllabus each week to see what is due and when it's due, and then select, then take a look at the professor's um, announcements or emails. Some things may change. I know for myself, when I wanted a, an assignment to change, I would actually modify it in the syllabus and resend the syllabus to all my students. Email it to them. Kamisha, because uh -huh. all right, I'm in ASAP, and um, I remember, I think it was last semester, they had a, um, your syllabus is your contract. Uh, yes. There was a workshop that basically told you your syllabus is a contract. So if the professor deviates from the syllabus, you it's have every right to fight it. It's a breach of yes, contract. You have every right to fight it. But if the syllabus is there and you didn't check it, they're going to tell you that's on you. And they're kind of right. It's your response, which is why I started off by saying we're not in high school. In high school, the professor, the teacher tells you, hey, this is due when blah, blah, blah. In college, no, that's your Listen, responsibility. I'm a well-organized student. Like, I don't, I, I don't fail. So it, it, when I see it. I'm getting 67, I'm like, wait a minute. I got to double check this. What's going on? You know what I mean? So yeah, but if you you have to check the syllabus first and then take it from there because if it was in the syllabus, you're basically gonna have to throw yourself at the mercy of the professor and say, hey, it's my yeah, message. Why bombarding us with so much like I mean we're come in on. college? <laughs> <laughs> we're in college, it's not high school. They're, they're gonna I like listen, I had a professor. Well, well that Karen, is, Karen, that's a recommendation that you can make, Kamisha, to the professor. Yeah. Um, in terms much. of that, you know, it's too many emails and, yeah. and some of us can get confused. And this is an example of how you got confused and you, and you're a good student and everyone knows you're a good student. So that is something that you would, you can let her know. I mean, this is, and the, cause we're all adults. We're just adults and you're having right. a conversation, you know, with the professor saying, I, I made a mistake, but I made a mistake for these reasons. Is you know, is it possible for you to 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 consider next semester how you sitting out your emails so that um, students you know like myself won't make that kind of error because it's because it's also not just it's I mean it's also not like a regular regular time for us because of the co because of COVID you know so again people are going through learning curves your professor is probably just trying to be on top of things and it's just sending stuff because they're like, oh my God, I gotta get, I gotta get it out. They're like, whoa, I got week I, I got I, week I, I, do this. I, I got week <laughs> So the professor may not be thinking that there is, see, you're a student who's hyper aware. There are other students who still ain't checked email from week one. They don't even Access so the they're not they're not doing anything in advance. You are hyper aware of what the professor is is doing, and so you know it could be something as simple as the professor saying, "This assignment is week six it, at the head of the email. I don't know what she's sending or, or how she's posting, but it could be something simple as that, so that there's no confusion for students like yourself. Who are who are because there are there are students who are really hyper aware and really you know check email religiously from their professors you know almost immediately and then right. there are others who who might be like me in like the syllabus says this I'm not I'm not reading that I did everything in the syllabus and I'll look at that 
in a moment? Well, I think for the most part, most prof I'm gonna speak again because I got great professors. I think for the most part, most professors are willing to understand based on your history of work that you've done. Okay, this was genuine and you know error. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Most professors, especially if as you you know, have you said you've been doing good, you know, for this you know for this period. Uh, we had a, a situation just last week with our accounts professor who. The first discussion board, she was like very on it, like, hey, don't forget, it's due. And this time she was like, I'm not reminding you anything. You're, I did the first time, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> like, y'all need to check your stuff. <laughs> That's your right. job. And so she one person tired. was in the she class. Said she's tired. Y'all have to read the syllabus. I'm tired. Yeah, she was, it wasn't even a syllabus. It's like she had the discussion set up. So it was right there on Blackboard. And so, like, I remember one person saying, hey, but I didn't see it. And, you know, like, usually remind us. And she's like, yeah, but that's really not my job. Good luck. Now, <laughs> in her defense, he did give them an extension for three days. <laughs> she was like, all right, like, half of y'all didn't see it. So I'm going to give you an extension. But just know I didn't have to because it's in your <laughs> syllabus. So, you know, you can, I think most professors you can maneuver with. Um, but it is on you to check the syllabus. If you don't check, I mean, I do every Monday. I don't check it every day. I don't. Trust me, I don't. Every Monday, I do check it. I print what I need to print. I see what I need to see, and I get out. That's it. If you send me anything during the week that is not on the schedule, you will have to wait until I get it done. I'm sorry. But that's what I'm work. saying. Like, not you know, sit there, and then in two days' time, that something that didn't even you see two things behind each other pop up. I'm like, wait a minute. What's but that's my point. On? Those you can fight. They're not on your syllabus. <laughs> you could be like, hey, that it's wasn't there. Crazy. You know what I mean? No, but I have one more that. question before I go. So relax, relax, relax to be sure. That's all. Just relax. Don't read the emails. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have one more question because this this kind of yeah. bothered me at the beginning of the semester. We had we were having a meeting, and this particular professor said. Um, for those students who are coming from such and such class, you're going to find it difficult to understand my kind of um, teaching. Because, um, da, 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 da. and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm paying my money to come here. Was it Not math? Here. I wouldn't say, but mm -hmm. I'm like, <laughs> I, was, I took it as an offense because I'm paying my money to come here. I, you can tell me that I'm going to find it difficult. You don't know me. Right, you don't know, right. you know, right. So when you're gonna say, um, you, there's a student coming from this class is gonna find it difficult. My teaching is a bit different. And that, that, I took it as a, I'm like, sometimes professors need to know they're not dealing with children, they're dealing with adults and they have to know what to say to us because, you know, at the end of the day, we're humans, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I'm like, there are certain things that they, I don't think they understand that they are not supposed to say, or I don't know if they don't care or what, but you have to deal with us as professionals, right? Because we're paying yeah. you to give us what you already we're know. Us, and that is we're where your question should have come in with, thank you for that observation. How do you propose or plan to make sure that we're able to learn what we are supposed to learn in your course? That I mean, so no matter what a professor says, all of us are here or supposed to be here to see you learn, to help you learn to the best of our abilities. And if that professor knows that for whatever reason, there might be challenges for students coming out of a particular class, then that professor should have a strategy um, to help those students and not s tell the students that it can't be an, oh, well, you're going to fail. It needs to be, okay, you came from here. I need you to make sure that you can do this so that once I know that you can do this, then you can do that. And never feel like you can't have a conversation with a professor. Um, you know, and, it's, and, none of, and the conversation would not have been hostile on your part, it would just be a simple, wow, thanks for that. Now that I know, 
what's the plan? You know, I, I sent her an email and I told her, listen, I, I am an A student. I come to learn, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and so far I've not failed her class. So that, that speaks volume. I'm not going to let what she says. You can't just say certain things to the students. That's not nice. It's not. And sometimes professors may need to be made aware of that. And I'm speaking not as an administrator, but as a, as a someone who's been a student. Mm-hmm. I've I had, had a- professors just a little nervous around me because I had to make things clear for them because I'm paying all kind of money and I'm here mm-hmm. to learn. I could be home watching television, not after work in a classroom paying, you know, tuition at a private college. You, you just you just can't say things. And even though Medgar is not private, it's not free. Every dollar counts. And sometimes, um, you know, what the professor said may not have been said to be malicious. It just may have been poorly said. That well. Not- <laughs> I'm just, I mean, you, you don't Wait. know. You don't, you don't know what is in the professor's heart. And you're, going to, and you're yeah. going to take it as, and you're going to receive it as, well, maybe it could have been better said, but let me get some clarification so that I feel better. And let me find out what, because I took this other professor's class as, as the example What do I need to be prepared to do? Because I am an A student and I got an A over here. So I want to know what you think I don't know so So, that I can prepare myself. So on that note, uh, Brittany and I, we won't say names. We're not doing the name thing today, but there's a professor who literally on the first day said, half of y'all are not going to pass. (laughs) <laughs> literally I've heard that before yeah but he was so serious he was so serious and yeah. then I, I think for the majority of the class I want to say thank god for COVID because <laughs> not for me but for the other half of the class who stayed home and had their books in front of them to pass that test because he said it with so much confidence and he was a horrible teacher and he had the nerve to basically go, oh, you came from this person's class? Well, you're going to have a problem with what I, the way I teach it. Sir, the, pers- the person that taught me before you did a great job of teaching it to the point where I look at what you're doing and say, yeah, you don't know how to teach it. So, you know, there, there, is a, uh, there are a bunch of professors out there that really need to chill when, you know, with that type of language, that type of tone. Like, well, that's why you we have you, Sharifa. I know I did make his life hell. I will tell you that. No, that's why we have you. I mean, and I say because it's almost seven thirty, and we've gone over our time. All right. But um, but that is why we have you to help advocate, and you've given some wonderful advice, and everyone has shared so much that has been helpful to me um, and to Sharifa, and I hope Sharifa. And, and others' comments have meant something and that you took the information that's in the chat and hopefully you're able to use some of that about the link to group me as well as the link for professional development that talked about teaching and learning online. You'll get some information out of that as well for yourself. And also maybe a professor didn't get a chance to see it the business school professors did participate in it. Um, and you'll even see some of our professors highlight some of their work towards the end of that session. And, and it's very well done. And, you know, take a moment. It's on YouTube and I gave you the, the YouTube link. But I want to thank everyone. And I want to thank Sharifa um, for, for doing this for the School of Business and for other students to come out and join us. Sharifa, do you have any closing remarks? Well, uh, Yvonne has been waiting for so long to say, to ask one question. Yvonne, are you still there? Yeah. Come okay, on, Yvonne. Hello. Yvonne, I have something to say, but 
I remember I used to say I could never do school online, and that's not me. I must be in the classroom, which I still need to be in the classroom because I don't understand how to work, especially when my my computer teacher doesn't show us how to do it. Just tell us to do that, 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 that. But I, it proves to me that I'm not the person who I thought I was. Meaning that I never thought that I could learn. And see how oh, uh, managing on my own to give to the professor. In the summer, I cried because I couldn't understand what the professor just put the word up and nothing more. And I emailed the professor and I said, let me tell you something. I don't learn like other people. I have to literally speak. And you have to literally talk to me for me to understand what you're saying. So I need some answers. And he text me his number and he said, when can, what time can I call you? And he called me and he explained. And from there, I run to the work. If you can't talk to me, I cannot work. Yeah, Megaza, it's a good school for the most part. We got good professors. I will say that. We do. So I, 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 it's still it's a challenge still, but I'm managing what I thought I could never do. Well, I'm glad you're doing it. And you can always reach out to us here in the School of Business. If you, if someone's not, doesn't help you, then you got to call me or mm -hmm. Roxanne or you call Dean Rowe. You got to let us yeah. know. Don't wait. I can promise you they advocate. <laughs> I can I promise you. I didn't know I could reach out to it. I didn't know nothing. Even when this email comes from the School of Business, I don't know where I come. It's Sherry for said to me, are you in the School of Business? I said, I'm accounting. Uh, I'm going back to this for accounting. She said, but that's business. I don't understand nothing. I just trust these ones. I don't need to read them. So that's your thing. See, she don't need to read them. See, my, I, that's all right. My hard work. I, it's okay. But my cell number is on every single email that I send out. So and if she you ever have a question, just give me a call or, or text me and I'll get back to you. I got you. I got you, baby. But yeah, all right. So in wrapping up, <laughs> in wrapping up, um, I just want to say we have finals. And right now, if you're not focused on finals, you might as well withdraw because you got to focus on that. finals. That is not true. Just pat. No, 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 no. You better focus <laughs> on your finals and pat. I don't know. I'm saying if you're not there, you're right you on pass. <laughs> you got to you be there? No, no, no. If you have an issue, you talk to your professor, shed a tear if you have to. Crying kept me in school for two years in housing with horrible grades. Oh, horrible. My first yeah, attempt. Don't tell them that. <laughs> I look, I'm not a look. I, I have graduated from college. <laughs> I have two master's degrees. But my first attempt at college, my GPA, before they asked me to leave, was a 1.5. Oh, my God. But I said, what? Look, <laughs> life happens. Life happens. Yeah, like again, it. no, I'm not laughing. I'm just laughing. I'm just saying. I thought you were going to say like a 2.7. 1. No, 1. 1. 1.5. 1. 1.5. I was there for well, two years. Thank God I didn't see that one yet. No, no, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I was there for two years. Thank God. I, I, can't can't with the like 20, like, I bet you I, I passed like, that class. I had like 21 credits, I think, maybe, after two <laughs> solid years of taking classes. But, 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 I went to, I was at Howard University, and it was okay. the best two years. 
of, of my early life. It helped me learn a lot about myself. And once I returned to college, when I was about 25, I excelled. So there is nothing. And look at you now. Excellent. And you, thank you, Dawn. Look at me now. I'm not ashamed of my 1.5 or my five or six majors. You're not supposed to be. I You're not supposed to be. But what I was trying to say was, um, we're at the end now. So you need to do whatever you need to do to get That's it right. done. And if you Make know you can't get it done, please do not get an F. Like, do it again. <laughs> okay? Don't take that F because you don't want a low GPA. But Brittany, can you just really quickly just tell them how to get in contact with the Learning Center for Tutoring if you're still there? Well, I'm still here. Yeah, sorry. That was like some um, of them. <laughs> so the Learning Center, I believe, what is it? Tutoring.com? One second, let me... Uh, let me pull up Brittany, aren't you somebody important to the school? Say that again? Aren't you somebody important to the school? Don't you have a title or something? Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> I am. Are you am, shy? Um, You're not going to tell yes, us? Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, I she am does. on student government. I am uh -oh. the uh, corresponding secretary with student government, and I tutor with the PDISI in Institute. Y'all make sure y'all get, get Brittany's information. Yes, ma'am. You know, I used to be a secretary for an organization. We know everything. <laughs> and by the way, I can tell you, Brittany is amazing with English. Also, I know she's tutoring uh, biology. Uh, bio, right? Yeah. Oh, she's one of the smart people. Uh-oh. Right. But she's amazing we with try, English also. Just for, so. No, girl, you doing it. You doing it. Sharifa don't hang out with people that ain't no good. She only hang out with good people. Nice, nice. <laughs> Show me your friends. I'll tell you who you are. But That's um, right. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's B Coast um, class, B Coast class. By yes. the way, can we just talk about good professors? I'm first of all, I'm going to post. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna post Sharifa's list of professors. Okay. <laughs> okay. Share it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. In the group, the group me chat. Like, yes. Put it in there so that way yeah. I don't know when people Please. ask me who's a good professor because I don't yeah. know. At the Can top, you send the group me chat again? Because I think Donald. I missed it. Sure, I'll send it to you again. again. Okay. Thank you. But uh, Brittany does tutoring at the um the the PBI. I said the so wrong thing. yeah, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> I just realized no I was worries. like, wait, it was the learning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you can get tutoring at the learning center too. Like they're they they are all yeah. over, it and we're we're trying our best. It's different because it is online, so the outreach is a little bit different. But you know, we're still trying. Uh, it's all an email form, uh, you know. Uh, so you know, the emails do go out every every week for tutoring. Um, I know that if you go on the what do you call it, the Mega Evers website, if you go. Paris, like, right? MC. Yeah, Aris, uh, yeah, Aris. Aris. Yeah. I know specifically on that you can find the learning center and um the writing center there. Um as far as like our thing, I don't even I'm pretty sure it's on that Aris thing too. Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Okay. I mean if not, uh guys, just reach out to us in the group and I'll find it. I'll 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 get it. Because now's the time to like I know a lot of us are not motivated, myself included. Oh, myself included. Because yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Right. So it's like, now's the time, though. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is when you got to really, you know, lock, lock in down. and get it done. Because, like, yeah. Now's the time to lock in. Like, you can't lock in next week. You can't lock in a week after because literally we have three weeks left. And, you know, there's no point in freaking out. We got to get it done. Like I said, we all graduate. <laughs> We're all graduating. Okay. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is it's important to have self-care. Please, I don't care what it is. You need a few minutes of, I'm not thinking about anything but me. For me, it's movies. For you, it might be baking, like Raquel, your peach pies, <laughs> your four peach <laughs> pies. <laughs> it might be... I mean, I won't say drinking. That's a bad habit. But anyway, it might be whatever it is. Take that back. Take <laughs> right? it back. Right. 
I, I know. Well, th- don't finish like two bottles. But, <laughs> but you know, like, you have to do mental health. And I do believe there's a mental health uh, department at um, CUNY. I mean, Medgar. I, yes, there I is. They do send out group. emails. Right. And I'll put that in the group me again once I find it. Uh, I didn't look for it today, but um, it's there. Please utilize them. Um, I haven't because... I'm a special type of crazy and I have my own personal um, shrink, but you know, use them. Um, the other thing is, um, I mean, de-stressing, please, 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 please de-stress this, this, I mean, online learning is one thing, but then online learning with the pandemic and then with unemployment and then with that guy that's ahead of the country, <laughs> like it's a lot. So please de-stress. You, you think you can handle it, but then you don't even know. You really, if you don't really know signs of depression and anxiety, you really won't know until you're like literally having a, an, an attack. You know what I mean? So let's Or you please can talk de-stress. to me and I can share all of my depression and anxiety stories with you. <laughs> and then we'll pick up, and then you'll pick up yours because you'll be like, nah, she got attacked the day before Thanksgiving. Let me just, I ain't, I ain't getting no problems. <laughs> or you'll talk to someone like Yvonne who's like struggling but still going through like real health issues. So you might find that yours is just not to belittle it, but it's really. And I just posted a workshop that we had during senior week about effective communication and the importance of mental health in the chat. So it, that's really brief. It's maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Um, something really interesting that you could look at and share with others as well. Um, and this person is Shirley Taylor Dunn. She's an excellent um, uh, social worker. She's been one for many years and I've even talked to her as well. And she's just wonderful with the ideas and very action oriented. And I think you will benefit from her learning, well, listening to her if there is something that you want to, um, you know, think about, get some ideas. So that's a good workshop to listen to. See, the School of Business has it all. Y'all just don't, you just ignore my little emails. It's okay. That's why I put Sharifa on it, on the, she's on the case. <laughs> And then there's Kamisha and the Impact Club. If religion is your thing, hey, go for it. You know what I mean? There's always that. Uh, last but not least, spring 2021. I will be posting a list of professors that I've used because I'm almost done um, for, uh, for selection of subjects. But I would really, really implore that you guys do your research on professors because it's one thing to try to learn the subject, but it's another thing to try to learn the subject while fighting with a professor who's really not, how do I put this, motivated, (laughs) you know what I mean? I'm not trying to bash no professors. I said I wasn't going to do that, but we all know there's a difference between a professor and a good professor. We all know this. Um, so I just I just really want you guys to do research. Ask students like, hey, did you take this guy's class? What did you like? What you didn't like? You know, like, what was it like? What was the level of difficulty? Mm-hmm. I would suggest going on Rate My Professor, yes, but I want you to go on Rate My Professor, but have it in the back of your mind that a lot of these students really are complaining about things that you have to deal with in school. Oh, this professor gave too much assignments. You're in school, you're going to get a lot of assignments. You know what I'm saying? But when you see things like, oh, this professor is disrespectful, please don't choose that class. Like, what's the point? You know he's rude, what's the point? So again, just do your research with the professors. I know everybody's gonna say, oh, big girl only hires the best. Mm -mm. (laughs) Nope, (laughs) you know. What works for you may not work for someone else. So just do your research. But again, share the names of the good professors and and also a a little statement about why you like them. Definitely, I will. I definitely will. Oh, I will. Mm -hmm. Wink, I will. Um, And if you guys have other professors too, please share them in the chat. The group me chat is for the students. So, I mean, you can't get in trouble anyway. You pay your money. But anyway, it's just for the students. Say it again um, for the people in the back. Right, you you pay your money, do you think? Um, two is uh, you should be selecting your spring 2021 subject for those who are continuing. If not and you're graduating, you made it, good luck. Um, 
Select your subjects wisely, please. If you don't have an advisor, talk to Raquel. <laughs> and by the way, yes, we all have advisors. I know that. But when I say that, I mean people who have advisors who they've never spoken to because, again, they have heart, you know, heavy caseload, so you don't get your one-on-one -on -one with your advisor. It's really as simple as going to your degree works and looking at it and seeing what your electives are and your core and your whatever it is. But if that's still too confusing to you, reach out to Raquel, please. I'm talking about school of business, school of science. I don't know what to tell y'all, but um, you know, <laughs> reach out to them because, because what you don't want is to be doing subjects that has nothing to do with you because someone who really didn't take the time to look into what you want doesn't know what your end goal is and two, didn't take the time to look at what's on your degree works, you could be wasting time and money. So please pay attention to that. And also, I hope to God y'all fill out your FAFSA forms already because when people ask in the group meet chat, hey, why didn't I get my refund check? <laughs> I right, Raquel, there was like four questions like that the other day. Like, why? That's because you filled it out late, all right? It's a first come, first serve basis. Hurry up no, and do it no, because- Well, no, you can still fill out your FAFSA for what year are we in? This is 20. Yeah, I think it's 2021, 22. Is no, 2021. One. You can fill out your FAFSA form all the way up into the spring of 2021, but don't wait that long. Right, because fill then, it out now. For then, this for this current academic year. Okay. You can fill out your FAFSA and if there's money and you're eligible, there should be money then you can get financial aid or student loan. Well, it's all financial aid. Financial aid of grants, scholarships, and student loans. You would be eligible for whatever. And Can I then add there to are that many... as well? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I just I wanted just, to add see, to that as well. Hold up, Raquel. See why I wanted Brittany? See? <laughs> I tell you, she just knows stuff. She just knows stuff. Go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, just about the, the FAFSA, like if you have filled it out and maybe, you know, if you were impacted in any way by COVID, like if you have lost your job and maybe you weren't getting as much money, I would also look into income adjustments. Ooh. Okay. You can modify it whenever you need to. Yeah. Have and and they the have year. instructions online um, on the, the, in the student center FAFSA thing about how to do the income adjustments. There you go. There you go. Mm, that's good to know. See? But also, I also wanted to say, even if you're not eligible for any financial aid, there may be scholarships that you might be eligible for that you won't be able to get if you haven't completed the FAFSA. Mm, I didn't know that. Look at that. But another reason I was telling you to uh, do it early also is because the system, from what I've been told by my ASAP advisor, uh, they've lost a lot of documents of people who filed in 2019 um, because everything had to go to remote. And so you, may, why you laugh? <laughs> and so, and so you, a lot of us have been asked to like send in documentation or whatever so the faster you get that in because it takes like six to eight weeks to upload so the faster you do that the faster your things get processed mm -hmm. all right and then and if I just you put don't a link, get I, i'm sorry i put a link in the chat that's a link for scholarships to search for scholarships let me just click on that one okay um <laughs> And then um, last thing is, if you don't get financial aid, please reach out to the bursar's office and the financial aid department to see what your options are. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's it. I think I did. Yeah, pretty much. Anything else, anyone, before we go? Now, for those who missed and, and they hear about it, you tell them what we talked about. On, we'll Yvonne, do it again. Go ahead, Yvonne. Go ahead. No, I was just I was just saying that I didn't have a question. I'm just saying that thanks for being letting me know about the meetings so I'll be a part of it so my eyes are a bit more open and to reach out to others so I'm able to understand what, what's going on because I was just I was just doing the book and making sure my own was done and my schoolwork. I didn't have no other concern in the world. But now I know that I'm going to 
emails come and I should pay attention because it's something that you know that wants to know. You just now know that. <laughs> well, thank you. I know, what that's, I know what it's like. So thank you, Yvonne. I know what it's like. <laughs> thank you. All right. So um, I think that's it. Nobody else has any question, comments, anything, something you want to talk about we didn't talk about. I, I would like to say we will do this again in January. I ain't trying to meet y'all before our finals. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I got to lock in myself. Okay. I'm not trying to get anything less than a B plus. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy so, the rest um, of the weekend. Have a happy holiday if you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate, go eat somebody's food somewhere. <laughs> the Rona, you got to respect the Rona, sis. Sorry. Uh, yeah, well, well, you got to have, your, own, you gotta have your own bubble. I have a bubble of like three people, four people. Mm -mm, I'm good right where I'm at. The pod. You got to get your own pod. Yeah. Um, I, 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 got have my own, my I got my pod. My children, that's a lot in. I don't have that. I don't have the cat. But I got my pod. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, so any other terrible. questions, any comments? Uh, Dean Roll, no, do thank you, you have any for the comments? Mm -hmm. No, thank no comments, just I wanted to thank everyone for taking time out there during their holiday season and just coming together and communicating and just, just being. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean Roll. Yeah. Thank you, Dean Rowe. All right, All guys. Right, everybody. Yeah. You have a good night. Good and night. I won't drink the rest of the bottle like Sharifa told me to. I already finished it. <laughs> I didn't nice. finish mine. I still got over the whole bottle. <laughs> I finished it. So, All right. Uh, happy sipping, everyone. So I would like to say in general, we'll do this again. And hopefully, we'll have more um, to share. Yes. Okay. Because I want to be an active council member. Thank you very much. All right. And, and please, I am on group me. I respond. Do you guys see I respond? Please. I mean, I know Karen and Kimmy have my direct number. So they will end on. They'll stalk me that way. But um, and you know, should respond every day well. on the hour. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I, like, listen, it ain't nothing like having a rat pack. That's all I can say. Like, have a rat pack. People who you could call. Like, if I miss something, I could call Karen or Kimmy. Be like, yo, I missed this. What'd you get? <laughs> right. So, you know, it takes a village. <laughs> it takes a village. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night.